Josh last year, just limited to a total of 27 games, but you're able to have, have a good couple of last few weeks with the Royals. Uh, what did that mean to you to be able to go in the off season and feeling healthy? Yeah, you know, it was really big. You know, I missed, I mean, I don't, over three quarters of the season, and uh, you know, to, to be able to come back and just to play at the end of the year was, you know, a big deal to me. And, and to be able to, you know, go back and just kind of prove to myself that I can hit at the major league level was a, a big confidence booster going into the off season and, and going into the spring training. Yeah, and, uh, you have an opportunity to, to make this team and you know, have fill a role off the bench. And what was it about the Pirates that uh, made it the right choice for you? Uh, you know, I would definitely say just, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of young guys, a lot of young big-time talent around here. And, uh, you know, with uh, I got to talk to, to Neil a couple times and to, to Clint when he came on and uh, before I signed. And it just seemed like, um, you know, the energy and, and the want to is definitely here. And, uh, you know, I got the feeling from Clint that, you know, he's going to do everything in his power to, to get this thing turned around. I know with the talent here that – It'll be done pretty quick, so uh, you know you always want to be a part of winning teams, and I was excited just uh, to have the opportunity to come here and you know hopefully make the team out of spring training. You talk about Clint. Uh, do you see any a lot of parallels between uh, the guy that you spent the majority of your career with and Ozzie Gian and Clint was just a very a loud person and full of a lot of energy, and everyone likes to play for this guy. Uh, there are similarities. You know he's a he's a real um, players type coach. Uh, you know, he gets along with, with everyone around here. And, you know, the camp so far has been uh, very energetic and a lot of fun to be around. I've been working really hard. Guys, you know, bodies are sore and stuff. But uh, for the most part, everyone is enjoying, you know, just coming back again the next day, no matter how your body's feeling. And, um, you know, hanging around, there's a lot of camaraderie already. And it's, you know, I mean, we're like a weekend just about to start games. So that's, it's uh, a lot of the other camps I've been in, it's pretty rare. In a great sports town like Pittsburgh, I have to ask you about your football career at Oklahoma State. Uh, a star at Oklahoma State is the quarterback, took him to the Cotton Bowl, set a Cotton Bowl record. Um, what are you most proud of when you look back at uh, your career at Oklahoma, Oklahoma State as a football player? Um, yeah, I'm just now that I play baseball, I'm just thankful for the you know the opportunities that I got to go out and play and, and compete at a different sport. That you know I learned a lot of different things playing football. Um, you know. Uh, it's baseball is not a contact sport, but sometimes you have to go out and just mentally prepare yourself to play hurt, you know, a couple days or, or different things like that. And obviously in football with, with all the banging around that's going on and stuff, you know, you have to go out there and play hurt. So, uh, you know, it, it taught me a lot of things. I was excited. I had great experiences. And uh, you know, hopefully I can kind of bring those experiences and different things to Pittsburgh. When you played in that the big Cotton Bowl a couple of years back, you set a record for passing yards in a game. When you think of the guys that played in that game, uh, the big time quarterbacks, uh, what does that mean to you? Even the re record's been broken since, but at that time, what was that moment like for you? You know, it was cool. You know, you obviously when you're in a game and you're playing, you don't know, you know, where you're at or where you stand as far as passing yards and stuff. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, one of these, you know. In the years ahead, I'll be able to tell my son that, you know, I, I threw for a little bit more yards than Eli Manning, although he got the, the best stat of the whole entire game, which was the win. So, uh, you know, it's cool to have those experiences and have the stories, even for when, you know, we're in the locker room and guys are wanting to tell me about how great of a high school player they were and stuff like that. It's, it's fun to, uh, you know, ask them where they went to college and stuff and played.